Welcome to this Alan Talks Tech video. If you'd like additional information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at alantestwiki.pbworks.com. What does Neighbor Discovery do? Well, basically, it replaces the IPv4 Address Resolution Protocol, or ARP for short. Plus, it's got some new features. It uses the Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMPv6 messages, to, for example, find the link layer address of a neighbor, find neighboring routers, actively keep track of neighbor reachability, send network information to, from routers to hosts, and it's also a protocol used for host auto configuration. Let's take a look at some of the different types of ICMPv6 messages. Some of them are quite obvious, such as destination unreachable, an echo request, an echo reply. The ones we're interested in, though, are neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement. Those are type 135 and 136. Let's take a look and see how those are used. To begin with, we have to indicate that we have an ICMPv6 message attached as an option to the IPv6 packet header. This is indicated in the next header field by setting the value to a decimal value of 58. We have an option here of ICMP. This ICMP would have a value of 135, for example, if we were going to do a neighbor solicitation. So neighbor discovery, how does it really work? How do we find our neighbors? To discover our neighbors, we have to go through a number of steps. The first step is to determine whether we have a truly unique address. To start this first step, host A is going to send out a neighbor solicitation using as a destination the address that host A ultimately wants to use. This is known as a tentative address. Hopefully, no one will respond if the address is truly unique. The source address of host A will be set to a null field known as an unspecified address. In this example, host B is already using the address that host A would like to use. Therefore, it responds with a neighbor advertisement in the form of a multicast. Due to the fact that host A used an unspecified or null address as its source, host B cannot respond directly to A, hence the multicast, FF02. We now have an indication that this particular address is in use and will therefore have to modify our source address. Assuming we have a unique address, we can now begin the neighbor discovery process. In this example, host A sends out a multicast neighbor solicitation message to all hosts with an ICMP value of 135. Host B responds to the link local address of host A with a neighbor advertisement message having an ICMP value of 136. Link local addresses cannot be passed through a router onto a different segment. They can only be used on a link local or local link. Now it is the turn of host B. Host B will send out a multicast neighbor solicitation message to all hosts with an ICMP value of 135. Host A responds to the link local address of host B with a neighbor advertisement message having an ICMP value of 136. A and B can now exchange packets and are in a reachable state. Welcome to this Alan Talks Tech video. If you'd like additional information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at alantestwiki.pbworks.com.